hi friends uh, welcome to youtube channel in this video session we are going to see about uh, vn stat command okay command line network traffic monitoring tool for linux okay so the software is developed from the bsd okay it stores the logs of hourly daily monthly network traffic for selecting network interfaces in the sense what are these interfaces you already selected so those are the interfaces is going to um, store those logs for our um, uh, like future if you want to get those logs and analyze uh, the performance network related things traffic related things you can do using the vn stat okay so why we want to use a vn stat command okay so the vn stat command is easy okay it's very easy to install and configure and it can monitor multiple network interfaces at the same time okay vn stat can be used without root permissions in the sense if you want to run any vn stat command vn stat command does not require any root privileges okay normal user also you can run the vn stat command it provides the output summary hourly daily weekly and monthly okay monthly basis if you want to see that you can see using the um, vn stat command it can generate the output into the image file okay so we are going to see that how it's going to generate into the image file like graphically you can just capture into the images and uh, you can just download those images it's a graphical representation using the png files or image files okay low cp usage regardless of traffic like uh, how much traffic you already have on the in the ethernet in uh, the interfaces but it does not take that much cpu usage to do a uh, run these queries using the vn stat okay it uses the network interfaces statistics provided by the kernel information source month months also can be configured followed by the building period okay so how we can do here it is you can just simply type this command w get um, this url so that they can uh, download that rpm okay and rpm iphone ivh and provide this um, uh, apple repository so after that what you can do here it is so when you do a uh, apple repository configuration after that you can just uh, simply run an a yum clean all option so that it will clean uh, the everything in previous databases and you can just simply type m install vn start command so that it will install your uh, vn start command um, packages required packages it will install okay so after that what we have to do here it is we can simply uh, start and stop the vn vn start service so we can get the vn start command can be utilized on our the whenever you start that service vn start service so that the vn start is start monitoring your interfaces available interfaces by default whenever you are running any command on the vn start so by default it's take eth0 as a by default interface so what we have to do every time when you want to run an, on a particular interface or uh, you want to get particular interface information you have to provide that information of the um, uh, interface name okay let's see it's almost completed okay so the vnc vnc vn start is already installed just now i have installed for uh, getting purpose so now let's see how we can do it here okay system ctl okay and status vn start that service so my vn start service is already running so i already installed it so if you want to do again you can also start and stop and restart using the system serial stop restart or the stop commands okay but i don't want to do that right now so let's create a vn stat database so whenever you type iphone u iphone i so before that what you have to do here it is if config okay let's simply type if config and take this interface name 
copied so that every time we have to provide this name here so that's why i am just taking here vn start iphone u and iphone i as a interface name and provide your interface name so that it will create and update the database the information to the database so let's vn start iphone if list if list also can provide you the list of interface name okay iphone iphone if list so that it will provide you the interface name you can also you take this interface name from here what are the available interfaces are there it will provide you here so my case i have only one interface enabled already okay if you want to get instant help from the vn start you can also use vn start iphone iphone help so that it will provide you all the information and all the commands okay so let's see here okay if you want to do a hourly vn start network uh, utility in the traffic you can simply type vn start iphone edge so that it will provide you the entire information of your 24 hours see here how much the network traffic has been happened on the last 24 hours okay if you want to see a daily you can also do vn start iphone d so that it will provide you the day's information okay if you can use iphone m it will provide you the monthly information so how we can say that daily or monthly here it is showing the daily report or it is monthly report it is simply showing here okay so now i want to see a live information so currently what are the network info network is going on if you want to see that you can simply type vn start iphone iphone live okay iphone i and provide your interface name okay so what's my interface name here okay simply copy this interface name and paste it here so that getting the traffic information see here so nothing is going on here okay if you want to do something okay let's say i want to download something on the different terminal okay let's go back and take our uh, url what is the url we have for downloading here the rpm download okay so now what i'm doing here it is i'm opening one more terminal okay the normal terminal i'm opening here and i am downloading this rpm from the network so that see here you can able to see that one kbps two kbps is going on for the traffic okay like that you can simply monitor the live traffic how it's going on okay using the live instant information see now it's came back to the zero something like that you can utilize this utility to monitor live information as well okay press ctrl c so that it will simply give you the what is that session information is about so maximum 62 kilobytes per second is done okay how many packets are sent and received so it's give you the entire information how much time 1.3 minutes we just see in this live session okay if you want to see a top 10 vn stats you can simply type vn start iphone t so that it will provide you the top 10 information okay let's see so this one is a very useful information here if i want to get the information okay i wanted to do into the jpeg suppose same okay let's see vn stat okay iphone d okay daily information i want to get into the jpeg file sorry png file okay how you can do that so let's provide daily information here and let's provide output information to okay uh, daily dot i can simply type daily dot png file so that what happens here it is will provide into the output to be sent to the okay let's copy this one Oops. we can start iphone d iphone o only right iphone iphone 
help so here it is output to be sent to what is this no not okay let's check it out my st file it's already there okay this one but why it's not taking from here okay let's say i already run this command okay now let's go to the home page and here i can able to see the daily dot png file okay this is how the graphical information will be coming using the that command vn stat command you can simply type the vn stat command and you can get that information here okay uh, if you want to query the database using the vn stat you can simply type vn stat and q so that it will query the existing database information and it will provide what is the information is available on the database captured if you want to see a multiple interface information okay so for say i have uh, let's assume i have multiple in interfaces like this okay you can type iphone i and plus and one more interface name so that it will provide you the multiple inform interfaces information in the single command itself vn start can also be run or uh, convert your information okay as a xml output okay simply type uh, information interface name iphone iphone xml so that it will give you into the xml information so why this xml in information is required here it is that if you want to build some web interface to your requirement so that this xml will help you out in the easy format to convert from xml to html uh, the web pages something like that okay it will also give you the json format okay you can simply type we can start iphone iphone json okay so that it will give you onto the json format as well vn start can also be uh, if you want to delete a already information is available about this interface okay i want to delete that information from the database okay you can simply type like this so the related to this interface database will be deleted and it's not going to monitor any on the vn start using the vn start for network traffic so this is about the vn start command friends thanks for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more updates and upcoming videos